you're looking super duper fine today. My name is Nick, or your typical, and today, I know I'm not tempers, and some of you might be super disappointed, but my name is Nick or Aerotypical as I go by. Some of you might know me, some of you might not, but today I'm doing a post for post with tempers, so he's over on my channel, I'm over on his obviously, and today I'm going to be telling you guys how to improve your computer speed just so you have a faster computer even if you have a really crappy one. So if you guys do enjoy this video, don't forget to smack a like on it and go let's see how are, oh, uh, subscribe to me the subscribe pillow plug go subscribe to me my link will be in the description down below so anyways guys hope you enjoy the video and I'm out peace guys so the first thing we're gonna go over here and look at is our control panel so you're just gonna want to find your control panel by typing it in the search bar or wherever else you may want to find it however you find your control panel then we go to uninstall a program and the first thing we're gonna do is look for a program that we don't use that often or look for as many programs that we don't use that often because we don't want them just sitting around on our computer if they're completely useless so for example this blue stacks app player I never use it I used to use it but now I don't so I'm just gonna get rid of it from my computer alright guys so next up you're gonna want to go over here to power options now you can do this once again by typing into the search bar or you can go into control panel first then direct yourself to the power options once you're here though you're gonna want to go from balanced which is your recommended and your default setting to high performance that way your computer will run faster and have a higher performance just like it says now obviously something has to be substituted and in this case it is energy so your performance will go up but your energy or your battery will kind of go down some so if that's a uh, trade you want to make then you can go ahead and do so if not then just keep it where it is right now all right guys so next up we're gonna want to open up our task managers once we get this open and we're in processes we're gonna want to scroll down to our background processes now here you'll see a lot of things that you don't even know are running for example I didn't know battle.net was running and so that might be something that I want to shut down if it's using up some of my memory so I'm gonna end that task right now and I'm gonna end clownfish and I can end a few others if I wanted to like maybe Cortana I don't even use Cortana so why would I have it running however do not just close random things make sure you know it what it is what you're closing for example this file io i have no idea what that is so i'm not going to close it down because i don't want it to mess with my performance too much all right next up is the startup now we just went from processes to startup on our task manager and here is where you choose what apps and stuff like that you want to start when you start up your computer. Now some people have a really sto slow startup time whenever they start up their PC. So this might be super helpful in shutting down those certain programs that you might not need. So you can see some are enabled, some are disabled. I think I already disabled what I don't want, but let's say you don't want Skype to start up whenever you start up your computer you can disable it right here I need to enable it if I would want it and then disable it if I don't want it so you can try that out to make a faster startup for your PC alright guys so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna delete our temporary files so you're gonna want to right click on your little start button down here press run and then we are going to type in percent temp percent as you guys can see I've already typed it in before I'm gonna press ok and then as you guys can see we have a ton an absolute ton of temporary files what we're gonna do is press control a we're gonna right click we're gonna press delete alright guys so if it comes up with something like this then you don't want to delete these files so we're gonna do do this for all current items and then press skip alright guys so next up you're gonna go over here to your file folder you're gonna click on local disk you are going to right click press properties and it'll actually come up with this right here once you're here you're gonna want to press disk cleanup and it will come up with this option right here you're gonna want to check all of these 
and press OK. Keep in mind that this does delete the files from your recycling bin, so you're gonna wanna double check your recycling bin just to make sure there's nothing super important in there that cannot be replaced. And then it will clean up your drive and delete all these unnecessary files. Alright guys, so next up you can download this thing called CCleaner, which is actually the cleaning software that I use to clean up my computer. Uh, you can download the free version, there's also the professional and professional plus, but I see no reason to expand and get those. I like the free one, it works perfectly fine and it does its job well. So as you guys can see, once we're in here, you can check the different things you want to clean out and it will delete the unnecessarily files and stuff like that so I actually just cleaned mine but you guys can go back and delete yours as you guys can see some of the things they'll delete are cookies history uh, and stuff like that from Google Chrome that you might not necessarily need like who needs your history right but anyways guys that's about it for this tutorial on how to speed up your computer if you guys did enjoy this video once again don't forget to smack a like on it and go check me out in the description down below anyways guys this has been nick or your typical i hope you all have a fantastic day and i'm out guys Peace.